Hello, everyone. That's Alex Volochnyk, developer advocate at Datastax. And today with me, Sean McCarthy, senior software engineer uh, from tooling and infrastructure teams at Datastax. And we are going to speak about a really great thing. Recently, Datastax open sourced a testing system called Fallout. And Sean was one of the guys working on this tool. So we are going to ask him, hey, Sean, What's the fallout and why should we care? Hi, Alex. Yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm pretty excited to talk about fallout. It's become a pretty core service. We run at Datastax for a lot of our mission critical testing. Um, what fallout does is it's a web service that provides Jepson style distributed system testing uh, in a declarative and property driven format. Well, that sounds great. And, you know, uh, I'm a big fan of all the open source thing. I believe it's a really great way to make our world a little bit better place. Uh, why uh, it was decided to open source this project? Because, well, you know, most of the companies try to hide everything and we just decided to share it to the world. How it happened? Sure. So Fallout was a project which emerged out of the Cassandra test world uh, to solve the sort of last stage of testing that we didn't have uh, really any any solution for at that time. Uh, when we started developing Fallout, there were the Cassandra unit tests, which ran in the JVM and were concerned with the correctness of a single node and the components within that node. Uh, we had the D test suite, which is concerned with the integration between nodes. Uh, but there was that sort of last step we wanted to take when you're talking about a real system at a real scale, uh, doing real operations and facing real failures. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a style of testing, which is certainly very important for databases and distributed systems. Uh, and we approached it in a way which enables a style of testing that's generalizable just to sort of uh, any distributed system. Uh, so, you know, you can take a, a style of testing where you look at a system, perform a series of actions against it, log the results and, and collect artifacts from across that system, and then uh, run checkers over those artifacts and logs. Uh, this is the, the Jepson style of testing, which has been integral in finding uh, linearizability and fault tolerance errors in distributed databases of all kinds. Uh, but this style of testing is fairly difficult. Uh, it is, there's an enormous test space uh, or problem space to cover uh, in terms of every conceivable configuration and data model and operation and failure scenario. Uh, early on when I was working at Datastax, we had defined a, a matrix of, of, of these configurations that we thought would cover sort of every conceivable Cassandra cluster. And mm -hmm. <laughs> when we sat down and did the math, we realized we had hundreds of trillions of unique tests we wanted to run, which would take hundreds of millions of years and cost the GDP of a small country. I mean, this <laughs> is really just a kind of, right, it's insane. Uh, really just to kind of express the, the sheer insanity of the scope that you can test here. And so Fallout takes a lot of the intuition and difficulty and, and uh, mechanical drudgery of creating the systems and executing these actions against it and uh, bring it into a much more accessible and methodical uh, sort of style of testing. Uh, so Fallout acts sort of as an orchestration layer on top of existing tools. So you can abstract away the creation and operation of distributed systems uh, and, and just focus on exploring that problem space. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, it was uh, my first question when I first heard what uh, Datastax uh, releases, uh, open sources, uh, Fallout. I was like, okay, that's year 2020, and we have some testing tools. Uh, why do we need one more, and what makes it special to the, um, in comparison with others? Yeah, it's it's exactly this thing. It's it's mm -hmm. a level of convenience and enabling automation around uh, uh, exploring this space. Because uh, again, Fallout doesn't quite aim to replace uh, any specific tool. We we found over the years that Fallout's really at its best when it's making use of existing tooling. 
so we, we've taken this Jepson model of act, log, and check mm -hmm. and generalized it just enough that uh, whatever artifact uh, a tool or software is creating, whether it's, it's system logs or just uh, some you know, the output of, of disk free, something like that, uh, whatever it is, you know, fallout can capture it and, and run analysis uh, against mm -hmm. it. Great. Uh, and, uh, what kind of tools, uh, we can use under the hood? I mean, if fallout is the, um, like orchestration system for testing, like what the, uh, tools it can use to orchestrate. Right, so we really haven't come up against the limitation, uh, or we've never found a tool that we can't uh, hook into. Uh, mm -hmm. Fallout is comprised of a couple of core uh, APIs, and and the one of the, the three big ones is a lifecycle API. Mm -hmm. So it offers uh, some stages where we expect uh, to hook into any sort of particular tool when that's, uh, if that's uh, provisioning, installing software, operating the software, um, you know, we have a very thin API layer which provides information and access to the underlying system. So uh, you can run that tool in sort of whatever way it needs to be. And this lets Fallout, again, abstract out to just an orchestration layer. So you can do things in a, uh, you know, declarative property-driven manner. Bringing sort of all of the, the different operations uh, that you'd want to execute against the system, uh, any sort of performance, you know, benchmarking, stressing that you'd want to execute against the system, and then chaos, just uh, great chaos testing. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's 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 a really really great uh, thing and great topic. But well, okay. Uh, my next question would be not really a question. Like uh, talk is cheap. Show me the code, or in this case, <laughs> can you show me a little bit of how it works? Sure. Uh, so I've got here a an instance of Fallout running uh, in our in our data center. This is this is actually the Fallout instance I've been using to uh, test the open source fork we released earlier this month. Um, so you can see it's it's a normal website. Uh, yep. You can do there's a user management, which is sort of lonely since it's just me. Uh, <laughs> you know, users have uh, a profile so that you can add. Uh, Credentials to, to specific services. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the follow we open sourced is uh, the the components we released were really focused around Kubernetes. So uh, here you can add uh, you know Google Cloud Service accounts to gain access to uh, GKE and G Cloud and that sort of things. Uh, you know, you have test management. You can see I've been running a couple of things. Uh, so it's really simple, right? I've defined this test, which does a, a simple performance benchmark against GKE, and uh, I'll show you uh, the definition in a second, right? But it, it really just comes down to a button. Great, that, that's it. This test will run. Uh, we can go into this test and sort of watch the output as it's being executed. Uh, it did sort of jump ahead to the boring part where it's just waiting. There you go, it's streaming live, very exciting stuff. Um, and so this is just a YAML format. You can define the different uh, node groups you want, uh, provisioning on GKE with the different properties, install uh, all kinds of services and configure them in Kubernetes. Uh, here we are creating a, a, a deployment of NoSQL Bench, which is another open source, another tool we've recently open sourced uh, for performance benchmarking and stressing. Uh, here we are hooking into the new Datastax Cassandra operator. Uh, and then we've defined what's just a very simple test uh, where you initialize the Cassandra schema, do a little JVM warm up, and then run an actual benchmark. Mm -hmm. Great. And how, how long does it take to run the test like this one? Well, this one's fairly quick. We're only running uh, a million queries, only a million queries, right? Uh, it takes about 25 minutes to create the system, run the benchmark, and tear everything down having collected the artifacts. So I, at the end of it, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to ask you to run this test uh, to show to us how it works, but uh, we can't wait for 25 uh, minutes uh, for it to finish. Right. So maybe you can run it, but show us the results of another test. Right. I mean, so like this, previous run, previous build. Yeah, exactly. This is one of the great things about Fallout is uh, it's it's a reliable and repeatable uh, uh, machine. It's, it's doing the same steps in the same order, uh, you know, given the same definition, right? So while I start kicked off a run just a minute and a half ago, we can go look at this this previous run and get a sense of the same 
output. So one of the, the core features of Fallout is collecting artifacts from across the system. Um, interesting artifacts in this case are HDR files, which characterize mm -hmm. performance and are an output of NoSQL Bench. Uh, we also have uh, Cassandra system logs from the Cassandra pods. Yikes, that formatting is a little bit terrifying and not very interesting. Um, but, you know, so you get the point. Log artifacts are collected from around the system uh, and they can be processed and validated. So one of the most common uh, checks we do uh, is performance checks. So this is a, a sort of simple uh, a performance chart just to get a quick sense of the characterization the, you know, the performance characteristics of this test. So here you can see the operations per second, the throughput, and we can switch this to a latency chart. We can switch this to, uh, you know, different latency charts. Uh, just to get a sort of quick check uh, from a holistic, holistic perspective, uh, you know, that means uh, including all of the clients. Great. Uh, I mean, like, that's really great. And of course, uh, it works not only with Cassandra or Datastax Enterprise, but basically you can configure it to work with any distributed system. Absolutely, right. Uh, yeah, again, course. you know, Fallout's very unopinionated about uh, hooking into a system. It's, uh, it's a very thin, very generalizable uh, mm -hmm. API to hook into different tools and software. I can say it looks really great. And well, uh, at some point of my uh, software, of my career in software development, I started to work mostly with distributed systems. And it was pretty rough transition because after the monolithic systems, it was, well, well, of course, there are a lot of great things, you know, and a lot of very positive changes, I would say, in comparison with monoliths. But uh, when you start to try to test it, when you have multiple actors over the world, it gets really, really, really hard. So yeah. I see. That's great. Uh, actually, how long it took to develop Datastax Fallout? How long is it in the development? So we uh, development was started, I, I think, in late 2015. Uh, and it was, it was seeking to serve a fairly narrow purpose of uh, correctness testing, and, and particularly mm -hmm. automating correctness testing, uh, uh, very much in the style of Jepson. And, and over time, uh, the scope of fault has sort of increased more and more into uh, you know, fault tolerance, performance uh, characteristics, um, debugging, streaming, and compaction, um, you know, uh, mimicking the clusters and environments of our customers. Uh, and so as the, the scope kept growing, I think uh, about mid-2017, uh, we, we had a team that would, uh, my team, uh, became dedicated to uh, developing Fallout and some of our other uh, internal tooling. I see. So it took a while, but yeah, it looks great. Uh, my next question is, like, uh, what's the uh, tools behind that? I mean, which language, uh, which, uh, I don't know, uh, libraries, what's, uh, what's there, what stands behind the data stacks Fallout? Sure. Uh, so Fallout is written in Java. Um, it <laughs> but it's has, expected. You know, <laughs> yeah, not very surprising, right? Uh, which makes it very accessible to, to I think, a, a broad audience. Um, yep. Jepson is written in Clojure, so it's running in the JVM. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a wrapper around Jepson uh, so that we can hook into all of the other stuff uh, written in Java. Uh, the web service is built on Drop Wizard. I think we use Nginx for uh, most of the, the, the you know, serving artifacts and web pages. Um, you know, we have Python CLI tools. Uh, we hook into CLI tools from, uh, you know, internal CLI tools that we've developed, uh, CLI tools like Cube Control and G Cloud. Um, yeah, that, it's, it's, but it's mostly Java. I see. Uh, well, yes. Uh, so uh, my last question for today, What's uh, do you think uh, Fallout has a big future? So do you expect it will be really so great and convenient for people to use? So a lot of companies and projects will start to use it. Well, I mean, I hope so. Uh, it, it's certainly been very useful to us here at Datastax. Like I, I think I said earlier, you know, it powers a lot of our mission critical testing, uh, whether that's uh, performance regression pipelines, uh, mimicking customer environments to uh, uh, validate their workloads and, and their systems. Um, and Fallout itself is generalizable to distributed systems. Uh, 
as a whole, a- abstractly. And this kind of testing is something that really anybody running a distributed system, I think, wants to achieve. You can understand the stability of your system. You can uh, get uh, a, a better uh, you know, you can you can have confidence that your your system is going to behave predictably when you go through the normal operations a uh, distributed system is going through, and when you're experiencing failures that every distributed system will experience. Uh, so you can take your distributed system and, and really push it, uh, really stress it out, really hammer on it, and, and cause problems uh, to make sure that. You're not going to experience those in production, and you know your engineers aren't going to be getting paged at 11 p.m. on a Saturday night. Uh, so I, I think the the utility here uh, is is very general, very um, very much necessary for a lot of people at this time. Yeah, definitely. World getting more and more distributed. I mean, IT world, and that's great. So now we are having something very special to everyone who watches this video or in general and the people who are interested in the testing of distributed systems. Uh, you know, uh, I work uh, as a developer advocate at developer relations team of data stacks and our job is to upgrade our users and we love this job. So this one we are going to have very soon open, free, completely free um, workshop of what's the fallout and how to use it with very practical exercise steps, so everyone will be able to watch it, attend it, and do the exercise and learn how Fallout works, and that's really great. Uh, Sean, uh, you will lead this workshop, I believe. Yeah, that that sounds right. Um, I guess what what I'm really hoping to to bring to the workshop uh, uh, is an understanding of all the different uh, you know people who interact with Fallout, the the users who are just interacting with the UI. Uh, developers who are extending into new systems uh, and new tools, and then uh, the people who will operate Fallout and actually uh, provide it as a service to 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 users. Yep. Uh, so I and, think yep. Go going on, uh, to the workshop, you'll you'll come away with a really holistic perspective on uh, how to use Fallout and how to how to really integrate it into your systems. Great, and I will be your assistant on it to help uh, to set everything up and make this workshop shine. And it's going to happen. What was the date? I think we're thinking uh, May 13th. Uh, May 13th, yeah, sounds uh, about correct. But in general, subscribe to our channel and get all the notifications of the upcoming streams. That really makes you better, stronger. Thank you, Sean. It was very interesting. Yeah, thanks for having me, Alex. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. And see you at the workshop. Looking forward to it.